What's up AWM fam? Hope you guys are having a beautiful day. So today is going to be a very exciting video. It's going to be an unboxing video, also kind of like a cooking video. Since you guys have been requesting a lot of cooking videos, I thought this package, this order that I did was very necessary because you guys always want easy, quick dinner meal ideas. So this is gonna definitely be the guy that is going to help me make those easy, simple dinners, lunches, whatever you guys, um, whatever you guys want to make. I cannot wait to show you guys. This is a pressure cooker, and uh, I, I just, I'm so excited. Look at how big the box is. Like, honestly, I hope it's not that big. But um, yeah, I cannot wait to unbox it with you guys, share it with you guys, show you guys. I will have everything in the description box down below in case you guys are interested and want to check it out for your guys' selves. Um, I am really excited. I think you guys are really going to like this pressure cooker. I'll show you guys all the cool, um, the cool, uh, what is it called? Um, the cool like accessories that comes with it, the things that you can do to, uh, the things that you can make to cook for it, like you, what you can cook inside of it. It's a rice cooker as well, which y'all know I love my rice cooker. So I am so excited for this one because I cannot wait to cook my rice in this. I've read really good reviews on it. I've researched it. I just cannot wait to unbox it and show you guys and start meal planning because you guys can cook a full on meal in this thing. So I'm really excited to show you guys. So let's get right into the video. So I want to first start off by saying thank you to Kasori for sending me this pressure cooker. I really cannot wait to try it out. I've seen so many reviews. You can make tons of stuff with this. The one thing that I'm super excited about making with it is going to be my rice because I love my rice cooker that I have right now, but I have seriously been wanting to upgrade it to a new rice cooker, but they're really expensive. So I was trying to figure out which is the best rice cooker for me. So I'm really hoping that this works well. I really hope it cooks my rice good. So I cannot wait to unbox this with you guys. Let's go on in. So I can't really get the top of the box. It's really big. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out. here is the top like when you open it I'm totally standing on my tippy toes right now because I'm so short but here the Kasori oh my god I cannot wait and then it says what does it say oh that have to come more back focus it says live life tastefully ah so excited Less time in the kitchen, more time enjoying fresh food, fresh or fast food. So here is the stuff that you can do basically. Um, it just says like stuff, it's 80% quicker than a standard cooking method, which is excellent, perfect for me. It's designed so it's, you can, it's a, it's like, um, how would I say it? Let me see if it's in here. Machine is friendly, user friendly, so um, you can bake anything, make anything, cook anything. Like, I'm so excited about the rice. Like, that looks like Spanish rice. So, if y'all can make Spanish rice in this thing, it's gonna save you a lot of time. And then, here is the features. So, it has a glass lid, a pressure cooker lid, a ceiling ring inner pot it comes with a measuring cup some measuring spoons a rice spoon oh my god i love rice spoons it comes with a steamer rack even a recipe book and then obviously the pressure cooker base <gasps> i'm so excited i'm going to cook a meal in it today for you guys because i want to show y'all like i just don't want to show you it i actually want to show you guys the meal and stuff so i'm going to show you all the full box Oh my god. Is that cilantro rice and lemon? Oh my god, that is so good. I love that. It is so big, y'all, and it's sturdy. Like, it is good quality. 
You know what I thought? This is like a freaking crock pot. Like, look at meat. Oh, hold on. You guys can't even see. Meat stew, poultry, soup, beans and chili, white rice, brown rice, multi-grain rice, steamed vegetables, slow cook, like a crock pot, slow cook, yogurt, pasta, steamed potatoes, hot pot, um, saute, bake, preheat. This is like an oven, a crock pot, a rice cooker, everything in one. Like, I am so freaking excited. I don't even know what I'm going to make. I'm going to look at the recipe book and see if they have like a little quick recipe. I can probably run to the grocery store and get all the stuff I need um, when I pick Naraya up. So I'm going to do that and come back and I'm going to show you guys how to use this bad boy. It is really, really nice. So it has like to lock and unlock, which is really nice and safe, um, like safe wise for, you know, anyone basically can burn themselves. And I'm trying to figure out how to open it. Oh, there. Whoa. And then here's the glass lid that it comes with. Whoa. Oh, and the spoon, the measuring cup. Oh my God, this is a really nice rice spoon. I can already tell. The steamer is really nice. You can make tamales in here. Like, no joke. You can make tamales. Oh my god. My party food for all the kids' parties are gonna be lit. Here's the bowl. See, OMG, this is really nice. I really am satisfied with this. This is so nice. It's really deep. So here is the little recipe book that it comes with and today I'm gonna be making chicken tacos out of their recipe so I'm super excited on that I'm gonna make these chicken tacos and I'm using healthy ingredients so that way they can be healthy chicken tacos and I'll label that as the title so stay tuned for that and I'm gonna be doing an overview so I'm gonna get right into the video so I can bump my music so for this recipe, I'm going to be using gluten-free tortillas. I'm also going to be using them in king size. I don't know, I just like big tacos so they get you full faster. And then I'm going to be using organic diced tomatoes. And then I'm going to be using um, organic onions and I'm just chopping for one cup of onions. And then I used just regular garlic. I couldn't find the organic one, but just regular garlic and I'm chopping, well, mincing a half of a garlic clove. So. Just put that in there and then three frozen chicken breasts and then after I'm gonna be using some chili powder it's one tablespoon and then I'm using a half a teaspoon of ground black pepper also for flavoring I'm gonna be using one tablespoon of salt Once you have everything gathered, go ahead and place everything into the pressure cooker. I'm starting off with the chicken, then I'm going to add the one cup of chopped onions. After I add the onions, I'm going to add the minced garlic clove, and then I'm going to add in the diced tomatoes. After that, I'm going to add in all of the seasoning, so I added the salt, then I added the um, chili pepper and ground or the chili pepper, the chili powder and the pepper. I said it both together. And I forgot to mention, add in one tablespoon of olive oil. And that is how it looks when you have it all poured in. I went ahead and mixed it all together and then I went and closed the lid and I just followed the instructions. I pressed on and then I pushed poultry and it gives you 15 minutes and it literally cooks in 15 minutes. And then you just press start and wait for it to be done. It honestly cooks so fast and it comes out really good. It'll give you the time that it comes out. But then when you're done, just take it out and start um, shredding it. Shred so easily and then warm up your tortillas. And then go ahead and put your tacos together. And optional, I put guacamole sauce. Uh, I 
wanted to end this video with me after eating. Oh my god, it was so delicious. Like, it was really good. I accidentally let it overcook so it wasn't like as juicy, but it wasn't like dry. And the only reason why I let it overcook was because I had someone here fixing the light and I was just like, I just forgot. And I guess a tip is if you don't turn it off when you hear the beeps it'll keep cooking because <coughs> it kept cooking and it's only supposed to cook for 15 minutes and I had set it at 15 minutes and um, I was wondering I was like why is it still going and then I was like oh my god 15 minutes has been up so I opened it and it was like a little bit like the juice wasn't it wasn't burnt or anything it was just the juice so I a little bit overcooked it but it was good like it was really good I had three and it was healthy like you could taste it being healthy like I never knew the difference from eating healthy and not until today when I actually made like everything like organic and then the tortillas were gluten free so you can actually you can actually taste it that it's healthy but it tastes good so I mean they're really good tacos I'm gonna make them again and this thing did it all I didn't have to do nothing but shred it and it shred it so easy like not even hard to just shred it. it came apart every when you would put your forks through it so it's really good thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did give it a big thumbs up also click the subscribe button for more videos and i'll catch you guys in my next video